Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Today I will be talking about Street Trash, which is the 1987 film that is based off a short film by the same name. The director is credited as Jim Murrow. So the movie starts out with a liquor store owner who is selling really, really expired wine, I think it is, to mostly homeless people that are coming in because he is selling it for a dollar and they're just looking to get fucked up. Uh, unfortunately, when they do consume the alcohol, it liquefies them in the most horrific way possible. This is all happening while there is a crazed war veteran that's living in an abandoned part of a junkyard body shop kind of place. At the same body shop, the owner of the whole place is trying to get on his secretary and the secretary is trying to save a small group of runaway kids in the hopes that they don't end up like the rest of the people living in this weird, weird community. There's a lot going on in this movie. Also, there is a, a police presence that's trying to figure out what happened to um, a restaurant owner's girlfriend who was brutally... I, I'll leave it out. Well, no, I won't leave it out. She's brutally raped and found dead. And then also he's having all these instances of weird, weirdly liquefied homeless people popping up. Lot, lots of stuff in this movie, definitely. My likes, the effects are so good. It's not a secret that I really, really love 80s horror movies, but this one was, the, the effects were so good. They were all practical, obviously. Um, I super appreciated them. They were gross and effective. I thought they were really well executed. The storyline actually flowed really well. And there wasn't a whole lot of time where you're kind of like checking your watch or got bored. It, it was really entertaining all the way through. The dark humor was definitely a bonus in this. I always kind of like that there's a lot of, in, in this decade particularly, there's a lot of that in the horror movies, and I, I love that. There's a, a scene with a severed penis where they do play Keep Away that kind of lasted longer than it should, but I was here for it. It was funny. You know, you can't go wrong. My dislikes. Some of the acting was a little over the top and not that great. But I also feel like it was the director's intention and a lot of the people in the movie weren't the most seasoned actors. And again, it does fit with the era this was made in. So it really didn't bother me that much. It just kind of added to the charm. The racial slurs in it definitely gave me a cringe, uh, specifically talking about the, the crazed war veteran was a Vietnam war veteran. And the way he would refer to the Vietnamese, I was like uncool. The rape scene also gave me a huge cringe, but I do believe that the slurs and that scene in particular, they're supposed to do that. That's what the director wanted you to feel, and it worked. It made me cringe super hard. It's a good job. So I really, really enjoyed this movie. I loved it. I thought it was great. I will give it a four out of five. I did find this on Blu-ray at one of my very few local movie stores that are left. I got the Blu-ray, as I said, which has bonus features of the short film, a full-length document documentary, which was really interesting, you know, different uh, interviews with cast members, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, a lot of footage that was shot at the time that they put into it, which was really cool. And I also got two Viper stickers, so I can put those on my booze when I drink it and then liquefy. Hopefully not. But this movie is also available on Shudder. If you can't find it on Blu-ray, I didn't check Amazon, but I'm sure you could probably find it there too. But definitely give this movie a watch. Let me know your thoughts. And if you could like the video, if you enjoyed it, again, leave me some comments. How did you like Street Trash? Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for more notifications so you're let you know you're aware every time I post. 
And if you want to follow me on Twitter at Reanimator and on Facebook, Reanimator Reviews. And I hope you enjoy the movie. Thank you.